And welcome back. While it has been a gorgeous day across the viewing area, although those winds have been a little gusty at the north northwest, anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per hour, but those have died on off as we went on throughout the afternoon and evening hours, and as well as our dew points have lowered. Remember, dew points are a measure of the moisture in the atmosphere, and you can see from earlier they have kind of gone down into lower 40s at this point. Well, they were in the mid to upper 60s uh, a couple days ago, so this dying on off is going to help us not feel so muggy outside. That's because we do have dry air moving on in. As you can see on our radar, yep, the cold front is far on off into the ocean at this point. Uh, rain and showers went up to the northeastern U.S. and just clear skies across the southeastern portion of the U.S. And that, of course, includes us. You can really see it on water vapor, all this dry air. Remember, that's the yellows, oranges, and reds. And so, yeah, we're just dry overall. Pretty cool, of course. We talked about this last week, just pointing out real quick in New Mexico. You can kind of see how some showers and thunderstorms blow on up as this uh, air mass kind of moves to the east. What happens again is you kind of push air up mountains, and they're great. It's called terrain induced convection, or what we actually call it is orographic lifting. It's kind of cool. You don't always see it, but we're seeing it right now on our water vapor. And of course, when there's not a lot to talk about here, we can look out there and see some cool stuff. So, right now, across the southeastern US, Still sitting in the 70s, near 80 degrees in New Orleans. And because we're going to be clear tonight, now we're going to cool on off. It's going to be a little chilly, near 50 degrees, upper 40s. Those winds, though, calming on down as well. At the northeast, calm, one mile per hour is really it. And a high pressure building into our region. Now, staying off to our south and to our east. So we're talking seasonable conditions for your Saturday. Low humidity, ample amount of sunshine. What does that lead to? That equals dry and pleasant conditions. A great weekend to get outside and enjoy it. We're talking near 80 degrees. And as we go on throughout tomorrow, through the evening hours, the winds will shift out of southwest and really start helping warm us up because, yeah, early next week, while there'll be some showers and thunderstorms going ongoing across the Midwest, we are going to stay warm. Our next chance for showers and thunderstorms potentially is going on into next weekend, but that is still a ways away, and right now it is a fairly slim shot at the current moment. Of course, things will change. So your temperature outlook, again, this is a probability of us being above or below average. Well, we're looking at about a 40 to 50 percent chance of being above average for next week, and we're going to enjoy that. And here we go for your Saturday. Plenty of sunshine, 80 degrees, and we start that warm up as a southerly winds return. Lower 80s for your Sunday. I want you to watch the overnight lows, though, as our warmer temp or our, our high temperatures get on up into the upper 80s by Tuesday. Overnight lows go from the upper 50s near to the mid to upper 60s by Tuesday night. So yeah, we're really going to start a nice warming period. We'll cool on off a little bit during the back half of next week. Clouds will be on the increase along with that. Still, next week is looking great. And Friday, yeah, overcast skies, still above average. There's maybe a slight chance of some showers Friday night into Saturday, but we'll keep an eye out on that. Until then, enjoy your weekend and enjoy next week as we stay above average.